Next to Ethiopia, where the Attorney General Barhan Sege has issued an arrest warrant against the former head of intelligence, Getachew Asefa. The government of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed is currently involved in a campaign to bring to justice alleged perpetrators of human rights violations in the country's immediate past. One of them, the former head of intelligence, Barhanu, is reported to be in the Tigray region. On Tuesday, the Attorney General told the House of People's Representatives that the federal government had requested Tigray's regional government to hand him over with no success. For the latest developments, I've been speaking to Kalkidan Yebital of BBC Amharic in Addis Ababa. Uh, one of the most interesting things that came out of the Attorney General's office today concerns the former spy chief Geta Chouasafa. Uh, he, ran, he ran the Ethiopia's National Intelligence Service for more than a decade. Uh, prior to the coming of uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed to power. Uh, there have been uh, speculations that he might be wanted by the police in connection with human rights violation uh, in the past uh, various years. Uh, so today, the Attorney General's Office spokesperson confirmed to us that they have issued a warrant to arrest the former spy chief, Geta Chosafa. Uh, they said that they wanted the cooperation uh, from the Tigrayan regional government up in the north, where they believe uh, he uh, is uh, right now. Uh, that's pretty much what they said today. Are they saying that Mr. Getachu is in Tigray? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, what we understood. Uh, the, the, the attorney general uh, himself, uh, Brahanu Sagai, uh, he, rep he uh, reported to the parliament yesterday. He presented a report, a performance report of the past uh, uh, five months. Uh, during the time, he told lawmakers that uh, Getacho Asafa is hiding, that's his word, uh, hiding in uh, uh, Tigray regional government, but the regional government is not giving him away. Uh, that was what he said yesterday. Uh, this sentiment was reverberated today in today's presser by his spokesperson. Why is the Tigray administration unwilling to play ball with the, the government of uh, Prime Minister Abiy? One of the, the fiercest resistance to uh, pr the new administration, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's administration, came uh, from the Tigray region. And uh, the, the resistance basically uh, revolves around the, the, the idea that these, these accusations, these arrests, they are targeting ethnic Tigrayans. So there has been that statement for the past few months. Uh, the regional government, the regional government, gave statements attesting to that line. Uh, there, are all, there are also have been demonstrations. So, what, what, what they, they feel, what they clearly feel, is the new administration is that targeting ethnic Tigrayans, and probably the, the accusations or the, the, the warrant against Geta Chosafa might be part of that, that targeting of, of that ethnic group. So, it could be that the regional government doesn't want to cooperate with the new administration, feeling that its region and its people are being targeted by the government. Why is the fate of these former senior officials an important matter to Prime Minister Abiy? Uh, Prime Minister Abiy himself and members of uh, uh, his new administration have repeatedly assured and promised the public and they pledged that people, senior government officials who allegedly committed this uh, gross human rights violations and corruptions of grand scale should be and would be brought to justice. Kalkidan of BBC Amharic reporting from Addis Ababa.